gone. They asked my mother's maiden name. I know. Not really a they, but an it. But it felt like a they. Someone cared for my mother's name. I wrote it gladly to validate my credit card. Her name still matters. She is gone, but not forgotten. If only others still asked about her. I'm married to R.C. Martin's daughter, my husband said recently. She won't know who that is, her husband replied. She moved there too late to know my daddy. What a shame. The Late Orphan Project. Following the first anthology, These Winter Months, the Late Orphan Project presents a second volume of stories written after the death of our mother or father. Our stories are not about how our parents died. That's an easy enough story to tell. No, it's about us now that they're gone. In each case, the writing, the storytelling, draws a personal portrait of a family, a loss, a complicated or troubling relationship, or the lack of one. The stories are ultimately universal in nature. The Late Orphan Project is an honest assessment of how the death of a parent impacts the child. These summer months, a haunting celebration of real life. Poetry, essays, journal entries, and letters. Each writer telling his or her story. Grief is a season and seasons change and recur. It's a season referred to here as these summer months. Masochist goodbye, I keep coming back year after year with dry lips and clear cheeks. Missing deep advice from someone I lack Older women try to fill her grim sneaks. My alphabet's divisible by five. Stripped of this little ditch, TV is left. Like Saturdays and nights no longer live. I hate male cancer for answers. Except postmen ring twice. Death do once in a life. Of all the stones I skip, miss hers the most. Gotta get better directions, I might remember to listen close to her ghost. A grave response beats no response at all. Maybe I'll try giving her cells a call. It was a shameful Sophie's choice. We had loaded our rental with things that matter only to a final child. Rooster supper plates, cheap well-kept cutlery, plastic purple iris tumblers, sachet scented roseate towels, an ancient paper petition to the church asking that I might be confirmed. All of us forgot your plants in the fumble. I still remember seeing them at last, leaning against afternoon slats, your darling forgotten life forms. There was no room for both, truly. We played Tetris with seats and boxes, rearranged garbage bags of memories. We couldn't call any, only one could come. We picked the golden pothoffs for no reason. These Summer Months, published by the Backpack Press, will be available on April 14 on Amazon and by special order at your favorite independent bookseller.